The main interface and the execution interface of the remote controller will be explained in this section. Enter the main interface after the remote controller is turned on. The top left corner is the functional area. The bottom left corner is the connection status. And the begin icon on the bottom right corner is the entry of the operation interface. Click on the operation task management icon. Fields means the planned fields in the remote controller where you can directly click use to execute the task. Executing an unfinished task which can be retrieved and then continue to finish. Prescription map is a variable spraying or spreading task generated by DJI Terra. Reconstruction output refers to the high definition map completed by remote controller mapping. Click the search option to quickly find the field you need in the vast database. In the editing function, fields can be selected to delete in batches. Download means to download the fields from DJI Agriculture Management Platform. Upload means to upload the fields to DJI Agriculture Management Platform. Click User Info icon to view the logged in user information and permissions. The overall data of flight records are displayed here, mainly including task area, task time, and flight times. Click Flight Records to view flight record details. It is recommended to turn on real-time flight data transmission, which will synchronize the detailed data of the operation to DJI Agriculture Management Platform in time to facilitate data management and playback. The following is My Agris Team, where you can quickly switch the plant protection teams. The boss account can create and manage the team on DJI Agriculture Management Platform. The fields and the team are bound and associated, so pay attention when switching between different teams. The last is to exit, after which you can log in to other accounts. By clicking Device Management, you can view the firmware version of the connected device or upgrade the firmware. You can also activate the DRTK2 mobile station, the charger, and the generator. When various difficult problems arise and need to do data analysis, you can click Log Upload icon, select the corresponding problem according to the prompts, find the flight record with the latest failure time, click Upload Log, and finally generate a QR code. Take a picture and send it to DJI Agricultural Dealers or DJI After Sales for Analysis. Click Broadcast Information icon to receive various flight control information, operation knowledge, and team information. Click General Settings icon. Network Diagnosis here is used to confirm whether the remote controller is connected to the network correctly. Each remote controller is equipped with a standard 4G dongle when it leaves the factory. Under normal circumstances, these three lines are green, and it can also be connected to Wi-Fi to obtain the network. When using the remote controller for the first time and entering the operation interface, it will automatically enter the beginner guide to help you better understand the function of each icon. It will prompt the icon function again when long press the icon. Click Reset to relearn the beginner guide. Click Begin to enter the operation interface. This is Select Task Mode. All operation modes are gathered here. Route Mode includes planning and using fields. In addition, you can also choose M Manual Operation, M Plus, Enhanced Manual Operation, AB Route, Fruit Tree Mode, Route Mapping, and Fruit Tree Mapping. This is Aircraft Status. If RTK High Precision Positioning is used, it will be displayed as Manual Operation RTK. Click the status bar to enter the Health Management System, where you can view the status of each system. Click the corresponding module, then you can view the detailed information of the system. Yellow tips are warnings, and red tips are critical warnings that affect usage. This is GNSS Satellites. The more satellites, the more accurate the positioning. This is Remote Controller Signal. Please make the antennas parallel to the aircraft during operation, and keep the signal in good condition at all times. This is Aircraft Battery Level. During the flight, please ensure that it has more than 20% power. Here is remaining payload in the tank, which can display the remaining liquid amount in spraying slash spreading tank in real time. This is remote controller status. The above shows the built-in battery level, 
and the below shows the external battery level. The remote controller will also display the number of search satellites when planning a field. This is settings, which will be explained later. This is add prescription map icon, where the prescription map can be retrieved for precise variable operations. This is clear flight route icon. Click to clear the generated flight track. This is center aircraft slash RC icon. The function is divided into positioning to the aircraft and positioning to the home points. After clicking, the screen will display the corresponding position. This is follow aircraft icon. Click the icon and the aircraft will always be displayed in the center of the map screen. When the icon is turned off, you can freely drag the map screen. This is layer switch, divided into standard and satellite. Turn on rotate map to rotate the map automatically according to the orientation of the remote controller. This is functional area. Common operations are here. Click the screen icon or the physical button at the corresponding position on the right to select the function. This is dashboard, capable of displaying flight and operation parameters in real time. This is radar indicator, which can display the position of the obstacle. Click the radar disk to call out the radar quick settings panel, in which you can turn off the horizontal obstacle avoidance or adjust side obstacle detection distance. The higher the value of side obstacle detection distance, the farther the radar can detect in the left and right directions of the aircraft. The more obstacles in the operating environments, the lower the passability of the drone. Here is the FPV screen. Click on this screen to switch the map and FPV video screen, or press the button on the upper right corner of the remote controller to switch quickly. The following explains the remote controller setting interface, which includes aircraft, spring system, remote controller, radar, RTK, image transmission, battery, and other settings. Firstly, enter the aircraft settings. Connection routing and RTH speed refers to the flight speed of the drone to the takeoff point or the breakpoint. Connection routing and RTH altitude refers to the flight height of the drone to the takeoff point or the breakpoint. They can be set as required. Turn on display empty tank switch. The system will automatically calculate the best empty tank point based on the current liquid volume. It is recommended to select hover as spraying complete action. If choose ascend three meters, Check whether there are obstacles such as trees or high voltage wires on the top of the aircraft. Turn on continue task if remote controller signal is lost. The aircraft will continue to work even after disconnecting from the remote controller. It is recommended to select hover and RC signal lost and task complete. In update home point, you can choose to return to the takeoff point or the location of the remote controller. Spotlight can be set to on, off, or automatic. When set to ALTO, it will be automatically turned on. Max Flight Altitude can set the maximum flight altitude, and Max Flight Distance can set the maximum flight distance to improve flight safety. In Advanced Settings, you can find IMU and Compass Calibration. IMU is only calibrated when the screen prompts calibration required, or when the flight attitude is not good. Usually, it is not required to calibrate the compass, but if the RTK orientation function is turned off, compass calibration should be performed in time. Generally, it is not recommended to turn on allow attitude mode function. Auto route spacing adjustment and flight efficient operation resumption are all intelligent route functions and are recommended to be enabled. When turn off spring system, the spring system will no longer work, but the task can be executed normally Turn on spring system real-time data to view data such as pump rotational speed and flow rate. When flow meter error alert is turned on and the flow error exceeds the set value, a reminder will be issued. Select calibrate flow meter when the flow is inaccurate. Follow the prompts to calibrate the flow meter, making the flow statistics more accurate. Spray droplet size is adjusted by controlling the rotational speed of the centrifugal nozzle. The higher the rotational speed, the finer the droplets. It is divided into five levels, extra coarse, coarse, medium, fine, and extra fine. It is recommended to select medium for routine operations, the extra coarse for weeding operations, 
and fine or extra fine for fruit tree operations. Weight sensors should be tear calibrated when the tank is empty each time to make the weighing more accurate. Weight calibration has been completed in the factory and usually does not need to be operated. If the weight measurement is not accurate, you can calibrate it according to the prompts. Next is RC settings. Click link when the remote controller and the aircraft is turned on and long press the power button on the aircraft battery for 5 seconds to connect the remote controller and the aircraft. After long-term operation, the controller sticks may not be in the middle position. The remote controller status indicator will flash in green when it is turned on. At the moment, it is necessary to perform remote controller calibration. During calibration, follow the instructions to fully hit the sticks to each position and then turn the left and right dials. It will be finished when the remote control prompts that. Stick mode refers to different control methods. Common operation methods include Mode 1, Mode 2, and Mode 3. It is recommended to use Mode 2. Custom button can be changed according to usage habit, such as setting the C3 button as searching light. In radar settings, when enable radar module and the radar can accurately detect the terrain changes and adjust the relative height between the aircraft and the crops in time, realizing terrain following function. When enable horizontal obstacle avoidance, the radar can identify and remind the surrounding obstacles and decelerate the aircraft to ensure the safety of the aircraft. It is recommended to turn it on. Backward obstacle avoidance is for avoiding the backward obstacles of the drone which can be selected according to the situation. Upward obstacle avoidance is used to detect obstacles above the aircraft. It is recommended to open it when there are obstacles above. The higher the radar sensitivity, the more sensitive the drone detection, but it also has a higher probability of entering the obstacle avoidance state. Side obstacle detection distance of the radar refers to the detection distance of the radar to the obstacles on the left and right sides of the aircraft, the detection distance can be reduced to avoid entering obstacle avoidance state during edge sweeping operations. If the remote controller alarms frequently, the warning distance can be shortened to reduce the alarm frequency. When distance to obstacle is turned on, the obstacle distance in all directions will be displayed in the radar disk. Task terrain usually can be set to automatic. If the orchard field is relatively flat, you can choose tree mode. In advanced settings, you can enable downward obstacle detection, which will remind and slow down the aircraft when an obstacle is detected to prevent collisions. RTK Settings RTK provides a high precision positioning device. Turning on the RTK positioning of the aircraft can greatly improve the flight accuracy of the drone. RTK Diagnostics can be used to troubleshoot RTK faults. RTK Orientation RTK dual antennas have directional function and strong anti-electromagnetic interference ability. It is recommended to turn it on. It is oriented by the compass if RTK orientation is turned off. At this time, calibrating the compass is recommended. Intelligent Battery T-Series agricultural drone battery consists of 14 cells. The smaller the difference between the highest voltage and the lowest voltage of the cells, the better the battery status. Here are total voltage, battery temperature, cycle counts, and battery currents. Low battery warning is recommended to set to 15 to 20 percent, and critical low battery warning to set above 10 percent. Other settings. When HD second layer map is set to do not display, the remote controller only loads the satellite map, and when it is set to personal account map, the surveying and mapping HD map will be loaded. Rectify offset is turned off by default. You can manually correct the deviation of the routes after it is turned on. Plan renewal verification. When the drone insurance expires and you want to renew it, you can click upload to upload the parts information for inspection. FPV display mode. It is recommended to select horizontal line, which can help determine the attitude of the aircraft. The above is the operation interface and settings of the remote controller. Thank you for watching.